Yo, just landed in Mobile, Alabama. Time for the Senior Bowl. It is the premier all-star game. The impression you make on us goes a long way. The two teams that coached in this last year, 40% of their draft class came from guys that played in this game. Last chance to go out there for the scouts and coaches and just be able to compete. Time to go ball out. Just ready to get out there. The Senior Bowl is an all-star game and it basically brings NFL coaches and college players together so they can showcase their talent. It's just a great experience and a great opportunity to just get out there and be able to compete one last time. So the Senior Bowl is a heavy workload. Basically your whole day is filled up from when you wake up at 6 in the morning till probably 12, 30, 1 o'clock. I didn't play at the Senior Bowl. Um, I was going through an injury from the end of the season, but still an opportunity to get in front of the coaches, just to let them know who I was as a player, um, as a person, and just to show that I could talk football with them. Every scale is watching you, every head coach is watching you. No matter what you do, it's all gonna be judged. The thing that's always made our game different from the other All-Star games is uh, getting the coaching staffs from the NFL teams. So it's our first night here at the Senior Bowl, and we are gonna talk to Matt, Patricia, and Zach Taylor. You know, the two teams that coached in this last year, the 49ers and the Raiders, 40% of their draft class came from guys that played in this game. So it matters. We represent a 16th of the league, so the impression you make on us goes a long way. You don't know who's in the elevator with you, you don't know who's watching the lobby. Make sure you put your best foot forward and give yourself the best chance to come here. Good luck to you guys. When you're in a hotel full of just, you know, players, coaches, scouts, you know, you kind of just always got to be aware of your surroundings and you know, what you're saying, how you're acting. And the last guy up here is an old co-worker of mine with the New England Patriots, Matt Patricia from the Detroit Lions. You're playing this room off playing the NFL. You got a great opportunity to be around a bunch of great NFL coaches. Absorb it, take advantage of it, work hard, compete, go out there and grind it out like that's great. All right, all about competition, all right? Let's go try to win that thing. I'm set. Defense on that side, offense on this side. Let's have a great practice. Start with punt. Hey, be great on me. Be great on three. One, two, three. Be great. Day one was definitely the toughest day. First day, we didn't really know what to expect. You know, you're getting that new playbook and all the installs, and it's your first time going out there and doing it. Relax your feet. Come on, relax. There he is. That's better. That's better. Good. Eyes. Yep. Now redirect. Put it on him. I like your feet, though. Good feet. That's it. That's a good drop. Good hard ball action. Stick it out there. Be violent. Violent with the face. The playbook that we had there, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a dummy-down version of you know the NFL playbook that they run. I think you can only go on like two by two sets, and there wasn't really any motion that could go in. It's not too much to learn, but it's still it's still a lot to learn. A short period of time. You're learning it one night, and the next morning you're out there practicing. It. We would do individual drill work just to kind of see how we move. They wanted to see that. You know, one on ones was a big part of practice. We do seven on sevens and eleven on elevens. Hey, 11, 11, 11. Come on, ready? There you go. Even though I wasn't able to play, I was still able to go through the walkthrough. It was nice to be able to get that first-hand NFL experience, learning the playbook and walking through some of the plays. You know, it was my first practice back since my bowl game, which was in December, so it was a little bit of a break. A little bit nervous. You got all the scouts and coaches in the stands, and it's pretty packed, and uh, you know, trying to not mess stuff up. No, it's hard when you don't even know if you like stretching right. We have so much to do in such little time, so everybody's kind of tentatively doing things because they don't know if it's the right way and nobody wants to be wrong. So that just adds to more of the buildup of pressure that comes with the senior bowl. I think I did it right. So towards the end of the first practice, I sprained my foot. It gradually got worse throughout practice and I just tried to like tough it out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, at the end of the day, it's just another practice, you know, what I've been doing my whole life. So I felt good to get out there um, and just put pads back on. My foot feels like it's sprained, but I think that I'm gonna give it another shot tomorrow and uh, see how it goes. Hey, don't make the same errors tomorrow that you made today. Hey, eat on three, one, two, three. Eat. The weigh-ins at the Senior Bowl, um, it's pretty crazy. 
We walk into a big auditorium. Uh, they had us up early in the morning. Um, they had us lined up in alphabetical order. Imagine a concert, but instead of fans, it's just football coaches. And you're standing on the stage in nothing but your underwear. You gotta strip down and walk up on the stage and call your name and you look out as all the scouts, coaches. Jordan Love, Utah State. We did weigh-ins all the time at Notre Dame. So when I looked at it on the schedule, I was kind of just brush it off as you just step on the scale and step off. Everybody is staring at you. There's bright lights on you. The floor is freezing gold. It's like that saying, if you're nervous, imagine everybody is in their underwear, except you are the one that's in your underwear and everybody else has clothes on. So it just makes you feel a little more uncomfortable. It's pretty, uh, pretty different. And my personal weight goals is right around 230. 225. My goal was just to be over 200 pounds. I didn't have a specific number. I mean, my weight pretty much stays the same. I measured in at 6'4 and I weighed in at 220 pounds. I didn't know what I was going to weigh in at, so um, it, it was pretty nerve wracking. I ended up weighing in at 204, so I was good with that. So uh, the second practice of Senior Bowl is clicking a little bit better and you know, knocking some of that rust off. Joy Love has tremendous upside, he's physically gifted, throws the ball hard, he throws the ball accurate. He's shown some things on tape, you're like, wow, he's got a chance. And the little bit I've seen thus far, it, it's very intriguing. I think he could be somebody who changed the franchise. Drill-wise, at practice, you know, we did a bunch of different quarterback drills, throwing on the move, doing bootleg stuff, and then also just you know, working through the progressions and the reads. That's it. Hey, but that's a good progression. Just get the ball on it. So the second day, you knew what to expect, but you were just trying to push through. Everyone on that field was super sore from the day before, just because they hadn't done anything like that for so long. Ah. Running the NFL offense, you know, it was a lot more under center stuff. And what I did at Utah State through my time there was a lot of shotgun stuff. So it wasn't too crazy, but it was just good to, you know, experience that. So the second practice, I was getting it more schematically, but I could start to feel my foot more and more. And as practice went on, it just got worse and worse and worse. And then towards the end of practice, I was basically trying not to look like I was limping off of the field because I felt like I could barely move. Ah. So after day two is when I had to make the call and I wasn't able to play in the senior bowl. Yeah, by the end of the week, all the playbook in and whatnot, you know, felt good, felt ready for the game. Just ready to get out there. Now it's just time to go ball out, kind of put on for my family. Now we get a chance to see you guys what Jordan Love can do. I felt I had a good day, good week of performing. I was able to put it all together. You know, obviously, you don't get to play as much as a regular game, um, you know, splitting time with everybody. But, uh, you know, the time I got in there, I felt good about it. able to do what I could do. Third and goal, Gordon has it a couple of times and throws a touchdown to Claypool. I think my biggest takeaway with a senior bowl experience was just kind of playing in front of NFL personnel and having that pressure. You know, I had a pretty good senior bowl performance. You know, obviously there's some things you want back and some things you want to change. But overall, I had a pretty good performance. So, you know, social media was really taking note. The senior bowl was able to, you know, help my draft stock a lot, just being able to be out there in front of everybody once again and showcase myself. Leaving the senior bowl, it was a great experience. I'm definitely glad I made the trip. I'm just giving myself an opportunity to see uh, these coaches, to get them to know me, just to build that relationship with them. So even though I didn't get a chance to play in the game, I still got valuable knowledge and I got reps when I was practicing. So I feel like I'm gonna take those and uh, those are gonna make me better. We'll head out to Orange County. We've been doing this since he was 13. Finishing the workout and my NFL pros, my NBA pros tapping out, passing out, throwing up. We don't take days off. We're in a few weeks, it's time to run at the combine. Gonna be ready to go. Boys, Aki, I've been trying to tell you. You trying to get Aki like me? 
I only wear overtime drip. That's why. That's why I'm Aki. And get Aki like me. Go click the link in the bio right now. You better cop out. Cop like five shirts. Because you need them for all week. And check out these videos right here and subscribe. <laughs> Stop playing with me.